Part two of the exercises that you might be doing wrong at Fit Club. We're gonna talk about how to properly do a kettlebell squat so that you don't hurt your back and you grow your booty. I'm gonna show you how to do the most used rope exercises properly so that you don't get low back pain. And then last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to do a proper shoulder side raise so that you don't get a shoulder injury and that your shoulders continue to grow and you look jacked like Jerome. Now, if you wanna hear the rest of this video, make sure you head over to YouTube, look up Fit Club and part two of the exercises that you might be doing wrong. All right, I'm gonna first just show you exactly how a proper kettlebell squat should look. So you wanna get your feet shoulder width apart. You want the weight between your legs because that's where you're gonna have the most amount of strength as your center of gravity is below your chest. You're gonna dip down into your hips. You're gonna put your booty up, but you're also gonna put this natural arch in your spine. So what does that look like if I was standing? So most people squat like this. All you need to do is just stand up straight you squat, get the hips back. Now, keep the weights right between the legs, okay? If you can see the weights out here, it's too far. You want the legs right between your leg, or the weight right between your legs. Eyes up, chest up, and then push through your legs to get it going, okay? So we're gonna go down. Now, what I see a lot of people doing wrong is that they pick the weights like this, then they stand up, which is gonna cause some type of back pain, okay? Then, when they squat down, they don't arch your back and they stay upright, which makes it even harder on the spine. So you see what I'm doing? This is what I see with most squats. From the front, it looks like this. Okay, they're always like this. Okay, so right away, that's just tension into the spine. If you sit your booty back and you arch, then it should look like this. The weight is right between my legs and we're driving up through the thighs. Up through the thighs. Make sure that you're going all the way down to 90 degrees. So once again, arch the back. So if you're standing like this, all you gotta do is roll your shoulders back, stick the chest up, arch right here so that the spine is nice and strong, get those weights right between the legs, right? And then drive up through the thighs, coming straight down, driving up through the thighs. And that's how you do a proper kettlebell squat. So there we have it guys, I just taught you how to do a proper kettlebell squat, make sure that the shoulders are back, the chest is up, and we're gonna focus on the hips and not the knees.